All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to unclog your nozzles uh, very easily. I believe this works on the Jono uh, EasyVap as well. I've heard some complaints with that. So uh, let me know down in the comments section if you have a better way to unclog these or if you've tried it on a Jono unit, because uh, I'm really curious. That's what I'm gonna recommend to people because I believe that we use the same diameter stem even though our cup design is different. Uh, so it, that may be a way to prolong the life of your uh, your Jono EasyVap. Anyway, this is our units. These are ones that just got done uh, our testing, we ramp them up to temp and let them sit here and run for a bit. Um, this is just our vibratory tumbler, which just uh, this device here. Um, that just polishes the aluminum to have it, oh, without pulling things off. A really nice pattern on the bottom. It's not scuffed up or anything like it comes from when it gets plasma cut. Anyway, so here all I have is our, our drill, eighth inch drill bit. Uh, you don't need one this long. This is just what I have handy and what I find that works. Um, anyway, so pretty self-explanatory from here. You just, uh, let me get it lid a little, put it in here. You just turn to, it's the perfect fit in each one of these. Um, and you just kind of walk one down the row. But, you know, you talk about it takes you longer to put this bit in the drill than it is to get whatever gunk is in there out. Um, so that's my tip of the day. Works well for us. I do this to every single one to ensure there's no burrs, um, no junk in the tube, no nothing. When it goes out the door, it is ready to run, field ready, no questions asked. If you already haven't seen our vaporizers, be sure to check out our channel for more information. You can find our vaporizers online at larabis.com.